Hello, I am Aditya, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how users can build a certificate-based VPN using AWS Site-to-Site -Site VPN. Let's get started. Log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the AWS Certificate Manager Console. Click on Get Started under Private Certificate Authority. Select Root CA and then choose Next. Enter all the requested fields such as Organization, Organization Unit, Country, State, Locality and Common Name. The common name can be the FQDN of your organization. After you enter all the information, choose Next. Select the required algorithm for your root CA and then choose Next. If you require ACM to send and manage CRLs to your Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket, select the Enable CRL Distribution checkbox. Enter an existing Amazon S3 bucket name or create a new S3 bucket. You can also configure advanced parameters such as custom CRL name and validity. I'll disable this for now. After you select the options, choose Next. Optionally, you can add tags to your root CA. Choose Next. With these settings, you can grant ACM permission to either automatically renew certificates issued by the CA or to deny access to ACM to renew the certificates issued by the CA. I'll allow it for now. Choose Next. Review all the settings. Select the checkbox at the bottom and then choose Confirm and Create. When a success pop-up appears on the screen, choose Get Started to install the root certificate. Select the validity, signature algorithm and then choose Next. Review and choose Confirm and Install. On the Private CA's console, choose Create CA. Now select Subordinate CA and follow the steps similar to the ones for the root CA creation. Select the Subordinate CA algorithm as either RSA2048 or RSA4096 because ACM supports only RSA-based private certificates. After you select the CA algorithm, click on Next. When the subordinate CA is created, choose Get Started. Select ACM Private CA and then click Next. Select the root CA created earlier from the drop-down, enter the validity period and then select the signature algorithm and the path length. Then choose Next. Review the settings and then choose Generate. Let's return to the Certificate Management Console and choose Get Started. Choose Request a Private Certificate and then choose Request a Certificate. Select the subordinate CA that we created earlier from the drop down and then choose Next. Enter the common name that you want to issue the certificate for and then choose Next. Enter optional tags and then choose Review and Request. Now click on Confirm and Request. Now let's go to the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud Console by choosing Services and entering VPC in the search bar. Choose Customer Gateways and then choose Create Customer Gateway. Enter a name for the Customer Gateway and select the routing type. I'll choose Static for now. Select the certificate that we just created from the drop-down. Finally, choose Create Customer Gateway. For this demonstration, I'll create a VPN connection terminating on a Virtual Private Gateway or a VGW. So let's go to the Virtual Private Gateways console and choose Create Virtual Private Gateway. 
Enter a name for the gateway and choose an ASN for this VGW. I'll choose the Amazon default ASN for this VGW. Finally, choose Create Virtual Private Gateway. After the Virtual Private Gateway is created, select the gateway that we just created, choose Actions, and then select Attach to VPC. Let's select the VPC that we want to attach this gateway to, and then choose Yes, Attach. After the VGW is attached to the VPC, choose Side-to-Side -side VPN Connections in the VPC console, and then choose Create VPN Connection. Enter a name for the VPN connection and select Virtual Private Gateway as a target type. In the drop-down, select the Virtual Private Gateway that we just created, and then select the Customer Gateway that we just created. Now let's select the routing type. I'll use static for now and I'll also enter my on-premise CIDR under IP prefixes. Finally, let's choose Create VPN Connection. The next step is to copy the root CA certificate, the subordinate CA certificate, the end entity certificate and the private key into the customer gateway device. To do this, return to the Certificate Manager console, select the CAs in question and look for the Certificate Body section under CA Certificate. To copy the end entity certificate and its private key, select the certificate Choose Actions and then choose Export. Enter your passphrase and then choose Generate PEM Encoding. This passphrase is used to encrypt the private key and is needed on your customer gateway device to decrypt the private key. Copy the certificate body and the certificate private key onto the customer gateway device. After you do this and bring up the VPN service on your customer gateway device, the VPN channel comes up. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.